I know what going to prison did to you last time. Only this time the kids understand and I can't protect them. I didn't push Ruby. And I'm sorry that she lost your baby. I'm sorry for locking her in a room with Kush. I'm sorry for chasing you at Christmas like me and you were ever important. I I I'm sorry that I wasted one minute when I could have been with my children. And the only reason that I'm going to court and holding my hands up is so that I get six months and not a year until I can come home. Stacey. No, I don't care anymore, Martin. This is Ruby. Pathetic, selfish game. She's just jealous. She, she will do anything to get me out of the way because she knows that you still love me. Do you know what? You can tell your wife she can have you. I ain't interested. Every minute that I've got left is for my kids. You don't even figure, Martin. I was just thinking that you're a bit... amazing. <laughs> you didn't exactly have the greatest example, Mother. My biggest gift to you was bipolar, and yet here you are. The best mum those kids could ask for. Yeah, well, we haven't got long enough to list out. Let them down. Yes. Yes, well, you are only human, but you are still trying, Stace. You're still hanging on in there, carrying on for them. I'm so scared to say goodbye. Yes. Yeah. I know. Worst thing. Leaving. So we'll make it easy on the kids today, eh? No fuss, no big dramas. You just go on your way. I know I wasn't much cop when you were little, but you can rely on me whilst you're gone. I, I will take care of your children. I promise. You be good for Nanny Jean, OK? You do as you're told, cos Mummy's got to go away for a little bit. But you know Nanny Jean, she's not going anywhere. I promise. A few months? There's nothing in comparison to the rest of your life. Love you, Stacey Slater. See you soon, Mum. 